Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Diamond Painting Dog Mom. How is everybody doing today? This is my first ever YouTube video. And let me just introduce myself a little bit. As my name suggests, I am a dog mom. I have two lovely little dogs. My first one, his name is Jack. He's going to be four in November. He is a Lab Shepherd Pit Mix. And he is a big dog. He's about, oh, about 140. And he is a couch potato. He'd rather just chill with the AC and lay on the couch and take a little nap. My other one, her name is Jasmine. She is the same mix as Jack, a Lab Shepherd pit mix, but she looks like a full-blooded shepherd and is often mistaken as one. She is, let's see what my next symbol is. Um, she's about 70 pounds, but she's 70 but mighty. She you often um, pushes Jack around quite a bit. He's more of a lover, not a fighter. So she's can she is three years old, and they are actually have the same parents, you know, they, though they look completely different. Um, but they keep me busy, and I'm sure I'll talk about them more as time goes. Um, and then to go on my second half of the name is obviously diamond painting which is what I'm doing now and I've been diamond painting since about February March of 2018 and I kept seeing those Facebook ads and decided to finally click on one to see what what it was all about because I enjoy doing crafts I used to do classic canvas with my mom, I crochet, um, I've tried cross stitching, I'm still working on that one. But so I hit the ad and I thought, oh, that seems pretty fun. So I ordered a few kits from them and the, my first ever company I worked with was Paint with Diamonds, which I know a lot of people know about and have mixed feelings on but that was the first ever thing I ordered so I had no idea about size and being pixelated it was just the first thing out there so when they came in the mail I did was kind of sad because they turned out pixelated you really couldn't see the image very well but it was still very fun and relaxing. So then I hopped over to Amazon, like most people do, and or a few kits from there. And they came in, and that's when I learned about partials. And really reading the descriptions of the items I was buying. It was a lot of fun, and obviously I've stuck with it all this time. So, let's see, what else can I talk about? Sorry everyone, I'm a little nervous. I've never done anything like this before, so bear with me. Um, oh yeah, that's right. So, I was done in pain before, it was very popular, like it was post during COVID when it first started so there weren't really a lot of options out there for YouTube channels um, so the ones that I found were like Carlo Picks and um, Rachel Ray um, Diamond Painting with Donnie and then later on um, DP Addiction Adventures and then as it became more popular, more channels came on, so I'm subscribed to quite a few channels, um, like Diamonds and Washi, Emeralds and Fairy Lights, so trying to keep up with all of them is very 
very hard. But as to why I started a YouTube channel, I've been thinking about it for a few years, but I'm like, oh, there's no way I can do it. You know, like I'm too, too shy, I'm kind of an introvert, but I was like, I'll try it and I'll see how it goes. So this community is really amazing. I'm very supportive of everyone, so if you have any like suggestions or comments on how to make me to improve, I am more than open to it. Just please be kind. Um, like I said, this is the first time, and I know I'm probably not saying um quite a bit, but I'm just kind of going with the flow. Get my feet wet and go from there. And I forgot to let you know what I'm working on. It's a diamond art club. It's um, Pumpkin with Sunflowers by oh, Gail Flores. It has 38 colors. It has two ABs, which are Aurora Bor Borealis. So they have like this special coating on them that kind of make them shy shine a little bit more and then there's one fairy dust in here which has like a coating of glitter on top it's very pretty this is actually the first time i've ever worked with it let's see three speaking of um this is an ab it has that special coating on top this is an orangish color I'm not very good with describing colors, so bear with me, everyone. But let's see. Um, so my name is Sarah, and I am located in Western New York. So I'm up by like Lake Ontario, and not quite Niagara Falls, but it's about yeah, hold on two or so hour drive from where I live and even though I am from New York I have never been to New York City I would love to go one day but I just haven't made it there usually pretty busy working full time and spending time with my family I'm kind of just relaxing from work. Um, so the reason I started diamond painting, um, other than the YouTube or the Facebook ads, was just because it looked very relaxing and therapeutic. And this is usually what I do after work or when I'm off. Um, when I'm obviously not at work because I don't have a set schedule. I work holidays and weekends, so I work 12 hour days, three days a week. Um, I work as a licensed practical nurse in hospitals. Um, I say hospitals because I work as a traveling licensed practical nurse. So I'm usually at a facility for about 13 weeks, um, unless six which I just extended my last contract at a small hospital for the second time um, but it's really nice because I get to travel to different places meet people I wouldn't have otherwise met I would love to travel out of state but it's hard because I own my own home and yeah Especially with winters here in New York. I don't want my pipes to freeze and burst while I'm not at home. And I have my, my dogs, so it's not fair to them to you know, not be home too much. You know, my parents are kind enough to watch them while I am working. So, like, I haven't gone outside of New York State, but I've traveled around in it. 
Um, but the dogs, they are, they don't really love the hotel life. I tried it, and let's just say Jack was a little too anxious in the room, so we had to do a quick switcheroo. So my parents drove an hour and a half to meet me in the middle where I was working, so it's about a three and a half hour drive from where I currently live. So we met about the, the halfway point, switched the dogs around, they went home with grandma and grandpa and I went back to my hotel. I was trying to figure out how to explain the damages that had happened to the room. Um, which that, uh, that was quite the, um, the sight when I got home, or to the hotel, my home away from home, and saw what this, what poor Jack had done to the room. It wasn't too bad, it was just, uh, the bathroom door was his victim, but we got all paid for, and they fixed it. I haven't been banned from the hotel, so that's good. But we, I had built a repertoire with the, with the staff there because I'd been there for over three months at that point. So they knew I'm, I'm a very clean person. I had the room all, usually it's all cleaned and, you know, I'm only there really to sleep and diamond paint after a shift. And that's why I'm very thankful to diamond paint because it's not easy. Um, a lot of the times, you know, it's very, very fast paced, get some pretty sick people, and, you know, nursing is, I don't know how to explain it, it's, sometimes it's a thankless job, you know, you get yelled at, you get screamed at, you know, you have, you're confused people, so they don't know why they're in the hospital, why they can't go home. You know, they think you're in their house. It's, it's, it's tough. It's tough mentally um, and physically. So, but if you have any questions for me on that or anything like that, if you have any questions in general for me, I am more than happy to answer. Okay, we're going to go to V. Um, but no, I went on to say what I'm working on. But I'm working with, this is actually, I just got this tray today, so I'm working with it to see how it is. It's from Tori's Diamond Tools. Um, she has an, she, he, they have an uh, Etsy shop, so it came today. I love the color. Um, and they wrote a little note saying that they would love to hear feedback and if there's any way that they can improve, so that's what I'm working with. This is my first time using this tray. Um, and then this pen I got with the unicorn bundle from Patty Wax from Robin and Ben. And then in it, I am working with um, Rhonda's Crafty Corner. I her warm apple pie scented putty, which it is amazing. I've worked pretty much on this whole section so far without having to need to replace my my wax and this is new to me as well um, I've been using the pink wax since I've started <laughs> diamond painting but I kept hearing from all my people that I follow on YouTube about how amazing these different waxes are and I finally bit the bullet and I have no regrets. So I've ordered from obviously Randis Crafty Corner. I have some some patty wax, and I actually have an order coming from um, Mary Mary Making and More for her Mary Mud. Sorry if I'm wrong about that. Um, so I have an order coming with her. It should be here tomorrow, actually. So I might try my hand at an unboxing video. Oh, I put that on backwards. Um, and we'll see how that goes. But I blame um, Katie at Diamonds and Washi for her influencing me to, 
to try out these small businesses. But so far, I really enjoyed the patty wax, so I thought I'd give Hannah's Crafty Corner a try. And we'll see. But the warm apple pie, it smells amazing. It kind of reminds me of when you go into the seasonal part of the craft store. Uh, it just has that scent, and I love it. Um, if you see the white blobs in my tray, that is um, the unstoppable, the unstoppables to help with the static. Uh, because these beads were a little staticky when they came, but we had a bit of a heat wave for New York. Um, it was 90s and humid and miserable. So I think that probably didn't help them too much. Because when it came on Labor Day, it, uh, it was outside for a little bit. And I was out on assignment, so I was working three and a half hours away. So my dad was kind enough to come to my house and uh, pick it up. Because he li my parents live about 40 minutes from me. Um, but I was going to be gone for about three days -ish, And I didn't know how the heat was going to affect the canvas or the glue. So... Thank goodness it, they brought it in for me. Um, let's see. So like I said, I have two older sisters. Um, neither one died on paint. My one sister, my eldest, she's never tried it. Um, but my second sister, the one that's closest in age to me, she, she tried it with her one son. And uh, she's like struggled to finish like the little keychains, but then she went and bought this huge Harley Davidson one for her husband, and she did it. But I think that that was it. That was the extent. I don't think she's uh, reattempted since. But my nephews, um, so my closest in age sister. So I don't want to share their names on here. I don't know if they'd be okay with that. Um. But her one, her oldest son, she has two sons, um, they both enjoy it. So they've been doing like little keychains and they enjoy it. So she does that with them and helps them. And then my oldest sister, we're about 10 years or so apart, 9 or 10, depending on the time of year. And she, she hasn't tried it, but um, her youngest daughter... Um, she really enjoys it, so I've actually bought her different kits off of Amazon to try. She is going into fifth grade this year, um, but she enjoys it, but she's not able to sit still long enough to do it for too long a time, but she, she comes in and she does it for a little while, and she goes back off to play outside or play classroom or teacher. And then she'll come back. So she kind of like just does a little here and there. Um, but it's really good to do some bonding time that way. And uh, I did get my mom into diamond painting though. She, <laughs> when I was first started to do it, she looked at me and she's like, Sarah, how can you just sit there and just put these dots on that canvas for hours? And I told her, I was like, Mom, I'm like, it's, it's relaxing to me. It's really nice. It's relaxing and I enjoy it. So she's like, I just don't see it. So I actually bought her a canvas. I was like, Mom, you try it. You might like it. My mom's very crafty too. I, I get it from her. And um, she's like, so she tried it and she absolutely fell in love with it, which is amazing. So she's diamond painting currently. Um, she's been diamond painting for a couple of years. I can't quite remember how long. Um, maybe about a year or so after I started. But she is actually working on her first ever canvas 
from Diamond Art Club. She usually does ones from Amazon because obviously Diamond Art Club and Dreamer Design and um, Treasure Art Studios and Diamond Painting Fanatics, um, which is a company owned by Cindy Michelle. Um, she's a fellow YouTube creator as well over in England. And she has her own company, which I highly recommend you go and visit and check her out. Her canvases are absolutely amazing. She has licensed artists, and she has full crystal canvases, and I believe she does resin trays and cover miners that can go with them. Um, yeah, I'm probably forgetting what all she does, but she's definitely amazing, so you should check her out. I actually just got an order from her a few canvases this week as well. I had a lot of packages coming in this week. Um, so she's really, really enjoying it. She is floored by the quality. She's used to just ordering ones off of Amazon because she doesn't have a big space to really do the big ones and she does it to relax. You know, she has a, her mom has a bad back and knees, so. This is just a nice, easy craft for her to do. She'll do that when my dad's at work. And yeah, so we get together once a week sometimes. Um, less depending, or not as often, depending on what my work schedule is. She gets a little burnt out with the dogs, which I get. I get, and I'm super thankful that they do watch them for me so I can travel and they're not stressed out with the hotels. I'm sorry, just gonna get a little drink of water here. But, so that's really good bonding time. Um, let's see, what else can we talk about? Let's see, that might be it. I'm not quite sure how long this video is. But I appreciate everyone that took the time out of their day to watch this video and please either like or subscribe or leave a comment and just let me know how I can improve because I know this is my first video, I'm brand new to this and I know there's plenty of room for improvement so I thank you for spending some time with me and I appreciate everybody so much and please stay safe and have a fabulous rest of your day. Thank you everyone. Bye!